here. So this uh, antique toy mall right over there is not open yet. Uh, by the way, once again, check out Craig's previous videos where he went through this toy mall. I can't wait to go inside, try and find some mask stuff. Maybe a Thunderhawk, perhaps. Maybe some classics. And there's Elite Collectibles. We're actually gonna go in there right now. So we'll see what they have right now. All right, uh, I have made it inside the antique toy mall. And uh, Craig was not lying. There are rows upon rows upon rows of toys, vintage toys, modern toys, uh, all kinds of stuff here. So I'm going to uh, do some looking and then I will show you what I am finding. So apparently I started on the wrong end because Craigerson just grabbed me. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I started on the other end. And uh, yeah. Here's all the classics over here. Good loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Point Dread. I got that one. Um, wow. All right, so let's see this. Many faces. Sorceress. So, I just looked at the Masters Classic yeah. stuff, and I saw this right behind me. That is glorious right there. Just the box alone in the box art. Absolutely beautiful. It's just huge. $2,000 for the flag. 100% complete. If I had two grand, that would be coming home with me. This is very cool too, this battle cat. Pretty awesome. You doing okay, sir? I am, yes, thank you. So we're looking around here. What do you see, Billy? I, I'm honestly wow. probably gonna pick up some of these old Mickey's, dude. They're That's so cool. Crazy. These are awesome. I think I remember oh, that one. Leonard Nimoy, Hugh Hefner, Kid Rock. But this one right here. Mark Hamill. That's awesome. Very cool. Alright, so this room that I'm in is pretty cool. Got some Transformers. So, a little bit of G.I. Joe. Need a lot of WWE. I mean, look at this wall of WWE right here. Just a ton of stuff. This island of Marvel Selects. And then you got some legends here on this wall. There's the man right there. Sergeant Slaughter. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Right, is this all one video or are you making two? This is going to be day two. Oh. 
because day one is going to be the uh, con. I, I bet I look great right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> So some of the booths are like a little bit more random. They have different stuff, just a little bit of everything. But some of them are also 20% off the entire booth. So if you find something really good and you do some hunting, you could probably get a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna look through some of these bins, see if I can find anything. So of course they do have Gorzak, but a, the thing I like is the bone age. Gotta love the bone age. All right, I don't think I have this Cobra Officer, so I might pick that one up. They got this, dude. Ten bucks. What's that? Treasure trap. Treasure trap. <laughs> Stick what's, your hand in there. What's been your uh, your purchase from here that would equate to that um, Travis thing? What, what you Travis try? thing? At the uh, at the Twitter. Travis. Brandy Travis. Brandy Travis. Yes. The Travis. See, that was the, the that Travis was thing. <laughs> Equate, uh, you know, there's a, there's a Elliot from ET, like a, Wait, why not? Just because that's, that's how I, I pity the fool who buys my figure. Is that something else? I am looking for a Eagle Hawk, the, uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation, the newer version, the modern version. There's Light Bright. I haven't seen one of those in forever. That's insane. Really? Final clock. Fireball Island, that is awesome. I remember seeing the commercials of this on TV. Yeah, I want that game. That's insane. What? Yeah. And then this sure, one caught my eye. That's awesome. I do want to find a War Duke if they have one. Did you see one next door? There's War Duke right there! I didn't see him, no. There's Strongheart right there! I wouldn't mind buying the Strongheart or War Duke. Never saw those guys right there. Mostly just these two guys. <laughs> there is a Silverhawks buzzsaw. There's a Lino. Stinkor right there. Oh, that is freaking awesome. There's an original Zartan with the swamp skier. That is so cool. Some Brave Star stuff. All right, I found some uh, vintage Transformers. I see Red Alert there. I see Swerve. There's an Insecticon there. There is uh, Octane in the back. And then there's a Jetfire. That is freaking amazing. There's a Trypticon. This is the... Oh, that's a G1 Trypticon. 60 bucks. That's a really good price for a G1 Trypticon. This is very cool. A little golden idol from the opening scene of Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's freaking awesome. All right, so we have a vintage Night Raven here. 100% complete for 150. This is freaking glorious right here. This is a Cobra Hydrofoil Moray 175. Only missing lands, so it's 99% complete. But look at that. So awesome. There's some 50th Joes there, more 50th, some selects. So, I mean, you really have to do a lot of quote-unquote hunting here because stuff is just kind of uh, everywhere. I mean, these boots, like, you go over there, there's just like some, like, records and stuff. And then you got figures over here. So, if you come here, you do have to spend some time to actually look because uh, you might miss something if you go too fast. Sky Striker, Cobra Rattler, absolutely beautiful with box. Cobra Condor, never even saw that. It's my first time ever seeing that. That's crazy. The Stun, that's awesome. Sorry if I keep saying awesome. <laughs> There's some, uh, some Joes in there. I might have to go through there. I think I have to go through there. collector's case for G.I. Joe's there. 
And then these caught my eye too. These old school lunch boxes. There's slaughter on that one. All right, so there is a vintage Mobat. That's the GI Joe tank. Did you see something in there? Oh, uh, no, I'm just You're looking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no problem. <laughs> I actually got this one, uh, I think it was Christmas of 85 or 86. And then there's the Wolverine right there, also vintage. And up high is the GI Joe pit, <laughs> the command center. It's 95% complete, but it has the box. That's pretty awesome. What's up everyone and welcome to the Nerd Bar. And I am here to show you my haul from my Louisville Supercon slash antique toy mall trip. So I had a great time down there and I picked up a lot of good stuff. So you already saw some of this in the previous video. But let me show you everything because I took some of the stuff out of the shipper boxes. So let me show you these things up close. First things first, I'm going to show you the stuff that you already saw in the previous video. Thundercats Classics, Lion-O. Looking very, very awesome. Really, really like this figure. Uh, I really like the way it looks in box, so I'm very, very tempted to take it out of the package and display it. But at the same time, I think it just looks awesome in box. So. There you go, there is Lion-O. I picked up Panthro as well. The, uh, the nunchucks that he has, it looks like it is a metal chain in there, so that's pretty cool. But there are the rest of the accessories that Panthro comes with. I really hope that they do continue this line on. I know that they had stopped producing these for a little while, but uh, at PowerCon they just revealed that they're doing two more figures. We definitely need a Tigra. Uh, there's other characters that we absolutely need. But um, I really like the way these look, and I'm glad that I finally picked these guys up. So there are my lion -O and Panthro. And of course, there is Mummified Mumra, looking awesome. Uh, apparently this is uh, one that a lot of people are after. He was, uh, he's kind of hard to find, but um, just really, really super happy that I was able to find him for a pretty good price. Uh, I got it for 60 bucks, which is pretty good from what I've seen. I know this goes for a little bit more on eBay, but there is Mumra. Once again, here is the Beast Man. You saw this one out of package already, up close, loose, complete, looking fantastic. He's gonna look great. I definitely do need to pick up some more of the uh, Evil Warriors. I do have an Evil Lin, which you'll see in my big Masters of the Universe Classics haul. I, I've picked up a ton of Masters Classic stuff, uh, which you're going to see hopefully in the next video, but look forward to that. You'll see all the different figures that I've picked up, um, some of the vehicles that I picked up, and one gigantic, awesome grail of a playset as well. You could probably figure out which one that is, but I'm really looking forward to shooting that video, and I keep pointing over there because all this stuff is literally right over there. And then you saw this one as well. You heard the story behind this one. This is the Sergeant Slaughter. Once again, one of my favorite things in my entire collection already. Uh, just very, very cool to meet one of my childhood heroes. I mean, he was a guy that I looked up to. He was like a, a superhero to me. Uh, was a wrestler, was a G.I. Joe. Just awesome. I've always been a fan of Sergeant Slaughter and to meet him, shake his hand, have him salute me and uh, sign this figure, which again, this is like a grail figure for me. So I finally picked up the figure and then I met the man and had him sign it. It was just an awesome experience. So very, very happy with this right here. And I can't wait to display this with pride. So awesome, Sergeant Slaughter. So there are a couple things that I did purchase at the Antique Toy Mall. I don't think I showed you footage of me actually uh, making an offer on this or picking this out of the case. I think I just took a lot of footage of stuff that I was seeing, but I saw this. This is a vehicle, a modern G.I. Joe vehicle that I have wanted for quite some time now. So freaking happy to pick it up. I wanted the original uh, back in the 80s when I first saw that, but I never got that one. Uh, it was originally called the Tomahawk. It is a helicopter, but this one is the modern version, and this is called the Eagle Hawk. And basically, it is the Tomahawk, just a modern version of it. I think it's slightly larger, 
But they did this one for G.I. Joe Retaliation. This wasn't in the movie. This was basically just a vehicle that they released alongside the movie. But I never got a chance to pick this one up. But look at that. It is freaking amazing looking. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, I do have some other G.I. Joe vehicles. I have the Skyhawk. I have the Sky Striker. I have the Cobra Rattler. Uh, I have the Vamp. So this is going to look great with the rest of the vehicles that I have. Really, really looking forward to this. And it does come with Lift Ticket, but that's like a modern version of Lift Ticket. I actually have the 25th version of Lift Ticket who comes with the Skyhawk, a.k.a. Ghost Hawk right now. So he's definitely going to go with this one once I unbox this. But there is the Tomahawk, a.k.a. the Eagle Hawk. As far as price for that one, that one was actually listed at $90. And I asked uh, the guys that were running the uh, toy mall if they had any flexibility in the price. I always try and not pay full price whenever I'm at like a show, a con, or like a toy mall. I always see if the dealers are willing to uh, bargain, wheel and deal. And uh, they took 10% off, so I got it for like 80 bucks, which is still a pretty good price since it's going for over $100, $120. But I got that one for 80 and then I picked up this one as well. This is just a 25th Flint. I have Flint on card, and I don't want to take it off card because I think it looks awesome. So I wanted to pick up a loose Flint just to have in my uh, displayed collection. But he's one of my favorite characters in G.I. Joe, and this is an awesome looking figure. There is 25th Flint. And then you saw this one as well in the last video. You actually saw it in the uh, vehicle mode, but this is Bad Cube Brawn, AKA Brawny. But there he is, there's the box, and I actually took it out of package, and I transformed it. So here he is, Masterpiece Scale Brawn, Bad Cube Brawn. And let me show you how he looks in comparison to some other third-party Masterpiece Scale Minibots. So here is Brawn with the Cubex Huff. Uh, Cubex actually was the company that became Bad Cube, so these are technically both from the same company, but there he is with Huff, or Huffer. And then here's how he looks with the X-Trans Bots Toro, AKA Cliff Jumper. Braun is a, a larger mini bot, but uh, I think that that scale really works. Uh, Cause Cliff Jumper and Bubble Bee were always, you know, the smaller ones, but there you go right there. And then here's how he looks next to a non mini bot uh, car. This is a Bad Cube Sun Surge, AKA Sun Streaker. So pretty good size comparison there. Obviously bronze and mini bot, so he's a little smaller than Sunstreaker, AKA Sun Surge. And Braun does come with a few extra accessories. He comes with this little drill bit that attaches to his vehicle mode. And then he also comes with this little like welding tool, I believe is what that was in the cartoon. He comes with an extra face plate. Let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah, if you can see that, it's kind of a snarling look right there. And then he comes with this uh, cannon that looks like Megatron's cannon because I don't remember which episode it was, but I believe Braun was like carrying Megatron's cannon. I think he took it from Megatron and tried to use it, or maybe he used it. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I saw that episode, but that's pretty cool that he comes with Megatron's cannon right there. Cool little accessory uh, for a visual that I just remember. I just remember Braun holding that big cannon. All right, you see some extra stuff on the Nerd Bar here, and uh, I actually did a couple trades the weekend of Louisville Supercon. So Toy Bills, Josh Pence, they were over here, and we did a little trade. Uh, this one I got from Toy Bills. This is the X-Men. I think this was a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, original five X-Men Marvel Legends set. So really freaking awesome there. I used to have this set, and I really regretted uh, trading it off when I did have it. So uh, Billy, Toy Bills, had this one, and I traded some stuff to him. But there you go. There's Beast, Cyclops, Angel, Jean Grey, and Iceman. And uh, just a really, really cool set. I don't know if I'm gonna take this out of the box, just because I like the way it looks in the box. This might be just displayed uh, in box. I'm not sure yet, but very, very cool set there. Thank you, Toy Bills, for trading this one to me. And then I did a trade with Josh Pence. He traded me this Punisher Mezco. This is a Spec Ops um, exclusive Punisher. I want to show you some close-ups of this figure as soon as I show you these items right here, which I picked up as well. So this one right here, I actually ordered on Amazon and I got it for a hell of a deal. I got this tank for 40 bucks. 
It retails for 80, so it's a fantastic deal. I've had my eye on this uh, ever since it was solicited, and I actually got this delivered the weekend that I got back from Supercon, so it was waiting for me, so I decided to include it in this video because, I don't know, it was technically a haul that weekend, but very, very cool. This was an Amazon pickup once again. If you find this for 40 bucks on Amazon, I would definitely pick it up. I haven't taken it out of box yet, but I've seen many reviews and it looks great. But there you go, this is the tank from Rogue One. And I knew that when I picked this one up, I needed to have some of those um, tank troopers. So there are my two tank troopers. I kind of want a third one just to keep on card because I've been keeping a lot of these vintage collection figures on card. But at the same time, I really want to open that tank up and I really want to display it with these two uh, pilots. So um, I will probably take these both off card and then buy a third one just to keep on card. But I do want to try and find some more of these regular stormtroopers, uh, these legacy collection or vintage collection stormtroopers. Uh, I only have one, so uh, I was basically going to try and create some kind of display from Rogue One because I really love that scene. I love when the ATST comes in in that part, but uh, I want to display that with the tank and a bunch of stormtroopers. I think that'll look really awesome. All right, so that's it for the haul. Let me go ahead and show you some uh, close-ups of this Spec Ops Punisher uh, by Mezco for those of you that don't have it or are thinking about it. It's a really freaking awesome figure. So let me show you some close-ups. All right, so here is the Mezco exclusive Spec Ops Punisher. I love this figure. I love all of the accessories it comes with. But right now I have him with this. Is that a Mac 10 or an Uzi? I'm not sure what kind of uh, gun that is. It's a submachine gun, I believe. But I love these bullet effects. I love that three bullet effect. And I have this one as well that looks like an AR-15. Um, I'm not a gun guy, so I know a little bit, but not too much. But that looks like an AR-15 with like a grenade launcher. And uh, I have the uh, little shooting bullet effect there as well. Uh, it comes with a duffel bag, which I think is a really, really cool touch. And then this is the uh, head sculpt that most people have this figure posed with. This masked Punisher head sculpt. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him with that head sculpt. I think it's a cool head sculpt, but personally, I really like this yelling head sculpt. So I might have him displayed that way. I just really like the way that looks. It looks like the Punisher to me. But a uh, really, really cool head sculpt there. And then he comes with this one as well. I like the um, like the cuts and uh, like the damage to his face. That's such a cool touch there. But uh, it does come with some additional weapons. It comes with this rocket launcher here, which is done really, really well. I like the paint on that. The um, like metallic looking paint and the wear on it. it comes with this pistol. I have the uh, shooting effect on that pistol as well. And then he comes with this minigun which is awesome. I originally had him holding that minigun, but uh, I really like the, uh, the two gun pose right there. And then he comes with this knife and he comes with a bunch of grenades, bunch of hands and uh, some, uh, some shells and stuff. So I don't have those out right now. I just wanted to kind of show you an idea of uh, the additional accessories and guns that he comes with, but he comes with more stuff. Just a really, really cool looking figure. Let me show you a close-up of the, uh, the outfit there. So, just some added detail like on the legs and stuff, the knees. I like the white boots. I like how this is kind of a mix of like a modern take on the Punisher and the classic take. Because they have the white boots, white gloves, white belt, but then they have like details on like the shoulders and the legs and the knees. Just a really, really cool uh, look, I guess, to this figure and this character. But uh, there you go. Just wanted to give you a quick little showcase on the Mezco exclusive Spec Ops Punisher. And then once again, here is Braun. I really love this figure. And there's, if you couldn't see his face before because of the uh, glare, there is his face. All right, so that is it for this video. If you're anywhere near Louisville, I would definitely recommend that toy mall. It's pretty cool. There's another toy store next to it as well and a comic book store near that. So definitely recommend that if you get a chance to visit it. 
But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. But that's it for now. I can't wait to film this Masters of the Universe Classics haul. I got a freaking ton of stuff that I want to show you there. And then I have three new hot toys that I'm going to show you with a fourth and possibly a fifth coming soon as well. So that might be like a like a five hot toy haul. I have uh, at least two or three new Mezcos that I want to show you. I'm backed up on videos. It's a busy time of the year. I haven't been able to get a lot of videos out, but thanks for sticking with me. But look forward to more videos because uh, I cannot wait to open this stuff and show you this stuff. But that's it for now. Adios, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.